This is Jill, angry, surly, listless, and an embarrassment on the basketball court. Then her daddy installed a high school regulation basketball court in their driveway using the concrete court creator kit from Engravacrete, and in this short instructional video, you'll see how to do it too. Step 1. Purchase the concrete court creator kit from Engravacrete, which includes the Mongoose concrete engraving tool, the Wasp concrete engraving tool, four 60-inch connecting tubes, a set of five connecting tube support wheels, a center pivot, pencil holder, basketball template set, instructions, 10 carpenter pencils, and 10 soapstones. The kit can be purchased direct from Engravacrete at engravacrete.com court or by calling 1-800-884-2114. You will also be able to download the layout instructions and this video for further reference. Other items you will also need include foam brushes, stain, chalk line with orange chalk, a tape measure, string, plumb bob, ladder, and concrete sealer if desired. Step 2. Review the layout instructions. You will first need to take some measurements in order to lay out your basketball court. First, measure the distance from the edge of the court to the front of the backboard and mark this spot on the court. All court measurements are based on the front of the backboard. Plug this number into A on the layout worksheet included with the instructions. Now subtract A from 63 inches to get the number you plug into B on your worksheet, which is the length of the straight portion on either side of the ends of the three-point arc from the edge of the court. Next add A to 36 inches to get the number you plug into C on your worksheet. This is the distance from the edge of the court to the leading edge of the free throw block. Mark these measurements on the court. Next, find the center of the basket by using the basketball rim center finder template included with your kit in a string and plumb bob. Mark this spot on the court. This is the spot the three-point arc will be based on. Step 3. Draw out the three-point free throw and key lines. Secure the mongoose center pivot over the mark referencing the center of the basketball rim, connect and attach the 60 inch connecting tubes and slide on the support wheels. The three point arc has a radius of 19 feet 9 inches from the center of the basketball rim. Mark this line with a pencil attached to the pencil holder. This is the outside line of the three point arc. The inside of the line is measured at 19 feet 7 inches. At this point, be sure to reference B from your worksheet. Make a mark 19 feet 9 inches and make a second mark at 19 feet 7 inches from the center of the rim to the far right edge and far left edge of the court. Now make identical marks perpendicular to the edge of the court at the distance B straight in from the two marks you just made at the edge of the court. Snap a chalk line at these two marks making the straightened portion of the three point arc. Next, measure from the center of the rim and make a mark straight out to the left and right side at 6 feet and at 5 feet 10 inches. This will give you a 2 inch stripe for outlining the 12 foot wide key up to the free throw line which is measured at 15 feet from the front of the backboard. Snap chalk lines outlining the three sides of the key. Use the center pivot and connecting tubes to measure 6 feet out from the center of the free throw line to the outside edge of the key in order to draw your free throw arc. The apex of the free throw arc and the three point line arc should converge. Use the block template and free throw tab template to outline these sections of the key. Reference C from your worksheet, which is the distance from the edge of the court to the edge of the block. At this distance, place your block template and outline it using a pencil or soapstone. Measure 36 inches from the top edge of the free throw side of the block to place the free throw tab and outline the tab using the template and a soapstone. Repeat the tab placement and block placement on each side of the key for a total of one block on each side of the key at the distance C from your worksheet and three free throw tabs on each side of the key spaced at 36 inches apart. Step 4. Cut your lines using the mongoose. Start with a free throw arc being sure to stop short of the three point lines so that they will blend in when you cut the three point lines. Be sure to clean up the lines you've just cut using the WASP concrete engraver.
Step 5. Stain your lines. After washing off the surface and allowing the quart to dry, it's time to stain. Using reactive acid chemical stain from Concrete Resurrection and a 2 inch foam brush, stain the lines you've just cut, making them pronounced. Once the stain has reacted, neutralize the stain, wash off the concrete, and your regulation basketball court is complete. Optionally, you may seal the lines you've just stained. Look at Jill now. Boom shakalaka! <laughs> Well, maybe she still needs practice, but with her new court, she's on her way. The Concrete Court Creator Kit can be ordered securely online at engravacrete.com slash court or by calling Engravacrete at 1-800-884-2114. The kit comes with all that you see here, plus instructions, worksheet, and instructional video available for download at engravacrete.com slash court.